four big moments. The CSUB men's basketball team playing what many are calling their most important regular season home game. 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks was there and brings us all the action. Well, anytime CSUB and New Mexico State meet, you've got storylines aplenty. Tonight's game, no different, as both come in with huge streaks. The Aggies riding the nation's second longest at 20 games, and CSUB unbeaten in their last 13 trips to this blue court, but going in with the added incentive to finally beat New Mexico State for the first time at home. Well, Jalen Arrington running out during warm-ups. He would have a big game, and he would get started early in transition. Watch this nice Euro finish. Runners take an 18-point lead into the second half, but we know closing has been an issue. It certainly was last year when they took on the Aggies at home, but Matt Smith quieting those rumblings early in the second. It was the fourth sellout crowd of the season. They were loud, but they lost it after Arrington's three went in. That made it a 15-point game with under nine to play, and every time the Aggies looked like they were about to make a run, CSUB calmly executed their offense. Check out the ball movement. And then the fake and finish from Sean Briggs there. Under two to go. How about an exclamation point? Arrington goes airborne as CSUB gets the program's first ever home win over New Mexico State. But after the game, Coach Barnes telling his players the work is only just beginning. If we don't win those other games that put us in this position, this game not as big as it is. So I told them after we win the game, we got to understand. We got to finish what we're doing. After we won the championship last year, me and Jalen talked about the big wins that we wanted to get this season. Grand Canyon was one of them away. New Mexico State was one of them away. And we dropped that one, so we feel like we owed it to ourselves and the fans to come out and get this one. So CSUB finally beat the Aggies on their home court, but that big goal of getting that number one seed in the upcoming WAC tournament still lies ahead of them. They're likely going to have to win out in order to get that, and their next test comes against UTRGV this Saturday at 7 o'clock. For now, inside the Accardo Center, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.